2016 has been a great year for new games. Whether you like Euros, Ameritrash, or something in between, there is a game for you. Personally, I found a lot that I really like, and since this segment has focused on thematic games, I'll give you my top three thematic games of 2016 in this installment of Face Up, Center of the Table. I had a tough time narrowing down my list, so I had to come up with criteria that helped me flesh out the top three. My top thematic games had to be ones where I was so engrossed in the theme and the experience that the mechanics of the games were just washed away. They were only there to help move the story forward without distracting from the gameplay. With that in mind, I was able to whittle the list down to three. So let's get started. Number three. Wait, what, what's going on? You're telling me that we've already blown through our annual budget for animation and graphics? And I, I guess props too? You, you guys blew all your money on Star Wars Destiny boosters, didn't you? You're so weak. Coming in at number three is Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. I was not a fan of the first edition of this game, and this was mainly due to the complexity of the setup and the amount of time it took for the Keeper to get through their turn. Well, with the introduction of the Game Managing app, 2nd Edition addresses both of those issues. Setup is now a breeze because the app tells you what items to distribute among the characters, what starting map tiles are on the table, and what items are on those tiles. Now you can jump right into the game with the app narrating the game, managing the monsters, and the maps. This helps keep the gameplay very fluid and allows the players to get invested in their characters and the story without getting bogged down by the game's mechanics. Number two. Coming in at number two is Star Wars Rebellion. I bought this game mainly because I thought the mechanics sounded fun and the Star Wars theme was just a bonus. However, I was totally surprised on how well the theme was integrated into the game. When playing as the Empire, you control a massive fleet, searching the galaxy for a hidden rebel base. Meanwhile, the rebels try to keep their base hidden by thinning out the Empire forces if they get close, or by bluffing and sending the Empire on a wild goose chase. It's an epic game of cat and mouse that is brought to life by playing the iconic characters we all know and love, plus managing the really cool ships and vehicles of the Star Wars universe. The Force is strong in this one. Number one! As a fan of many of the Fantasy Flight Living card games, when they teased an LCG game that had RPG elements, I was skeptical. But they pulled it off, which is why Arkham Horror, the card game, is my number one thematic game of the year. In this game, you construct a character deck that will change as you play through scenarios of the campaign. You can then spend earned XP to upgrade your cards, or you might have to add weakness cards in your deck that hinders you. Regardless, you become attached to this character as you play through the story. The location cards used in each scenario creates a map that allows you to explore, gather clues, and fight monsters. Unlike the Lord of the Rings LCG, which has specific phases for player actions, on your turn you can do whatever you want. You can collect resources, draw cards, attach equipment, attack, and search for clues. The open-endedness of the player turns gives it more of a role-playing feel which makes it feel even more like you're playing a character and not playing a game. Since this is an LCG, it will be hitting my table for years to come, and I can't wait to see where FFG takes it. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's not tea. We ran out of money for making tea. What, what did I just drink? You don't know? Oh, I'm going to be sick. All right, fine, fine. Everybody just get set for the last scene. We just ran out of money for video editing. We can't edit any of this part out. Unbelievable. Fine. So that's my top three thematic games of 2016, but I'm already looking forward to what 2017 will bring. What are your top thematic games of 2016? Let me know in the comments. Okay, wow, I'm really glad we were able to get through that before we ran out of